Hey y'all, what's up? Jamie, that's me here. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, we are back with more escape news, okay? Now, yesterday I came to you guys with a video pretty much breaking down everything that Latasha Scott mentioned in her interview. But earlier today, if you have yet to see it, I did do a video where uh, Latasha kind of had more things to say and also Rocky got a chance to chop you know chime in on the conversation and share his thoughts regarding that leaked uh, phone call and some other stuff so there was there was more to that um, interview than what we saw so I wanted to definitely do a watch along listen along whatever you want to call it so that we all could you know talk about that stuff all right so that's in a separate video and you guys could check that out when you have the time but in this video I want you guys to know that shortly after Latasha ended that interview with the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, Miss Candy Burris was definitely one of the listeners, and she decided to call into the morning show so that she could share her thoughts about everything that she too had heard. And that's what we're going to do on today. We're going to listen to what Miss Candy um, had to say about Latasha Scott's interview. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and pull that up. And while we're doing that, definitely go ahead and hit the like button on this video if you have yet to do so. Okay, so let's check out what Miss Candy had to say. Candy, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> what you doing, riding around listening to the radio? <laughs> Listen, I be listening to y'all on my app. What do you mean? That's what's up. I was tripping. That interview yeah. was very interesting. <laughs> why and, you say why, that? Why, why, why was it interesting? Uh, what, what, what are your thoughts? Um, it was a couple of things. I, I didn't understand what she said. she said. Everybody knew it not to be true when they were saying that his name is Edward Bivens because his name is Edward Bivens. It is. I'm glad. I'm glad you confirmed that as well because a lot of people were saying that's not his name. No, baby, that's that man's name. Okay. And based on the additional video that we saw, that was kind of like during the commercial break or whatever. Um, he did confirm uh, that it, that is indeed his name. Okay. So he's not hiding from that. So I was like, "What is she talking about?" Or, they, or was she trying to say Tiny Mama knew his name? I didn't. I didn't know. What she the brat didn't really specify who she was, but Tamika was talking about her. I'm sorry, Tasha was talking about her sister Tamika, knowing exactly who Rocky was. Um, but uh, it sounded as though when the brat said she, she was really referring to Tiny's mom because Tiny's mom she didn't she wasn't sure what the man name was because she only knew him as Rocky, same way as the brat. Right. But Tamika was speaking about I keep saying Tamika. Tasha was speaking about Tamika knowing exactly who her husband is and what's his name. So, Candy, what hurt me, I was saying, by y'all didn't send her the memo she said for the dress. <laughs> she still saying that? Yeah, she said that she didn't get the memo. <laughs> well, child, she didn't send her sister the memo that she was kicking off the record deal either. But, hey, oh. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> So, Ooh, girl, what are, you, what are your thoughts on uh, when Latasha said that she feels like she's being bullied right now? I don't even understand why she feels like, okay, she actually did an interview the other day calling Tamika a liar and basically saying if it's true that she took the money to put post the receipts. And that is why Tamika posted the full video of her on YouTube showing receipts of where they had changed Tamika's address, mm. signed the back of Tamika's checks, Ooh. and deposited them. Oh, girl. If she had not kept, you know, kind of like baiting Tamika, Tamika would have never done that. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people are like, why is Tamika posting it now? Well, Tasha asked her to. And see, that's what I was trying to mention in my previous video regarding the Latasha interview. Like you're acting like you're a bully. It's also I'm, I'm sorry, you're being bullied and that it's also many women on the show. Yet everybody is coming for you and this and that. And it's like, but you're also contributing to the madness as well. OK, um, your sister do, has done or you've your sister has done something. You reacted. She reacts. You react. She reacts. Candy gets thrown into it. Candy reacts. You react like you're in it as well. So I don't even know why y'all trying to include the public like we like we did something we in it girl we only in what y'all gave us y'all gave us this so we gonna talk about it that's what we do you know what i mean i guess she thought tamika wouldn't really show the evidence or whatever but tamika did so it's just like as far as anything else it's i hate when people do things or mm -hmm. you know and you know and then they want to come back and play victim it's like Ooh. you're the one that's saying some things and people are and we respond 
girl, in the words of Scotty by nature, you are the problem. You are the problem. Wow. Wow. Uh, if you if you had to guess, Candy, no, no, huh? no. Scotty says you are the reason. That's what he says. You are the reason. You are the reason. But, uh, uh, because Tamika said that she was being nice when she said that the check was for thirty thousand uh, dollars. She said she was just being nice by saying that. If you had to guess about how much money you think was stolen, if you had to guess. Mm. Well, I don't know how many checks were going to them before she realized it because basically um, we received the, the checks kind of like multiple times a year. And so in the beginning when they first came, because we were late finding out, out about Sound Exchange, the first couple of checks were a hefty amount because it was like um, back pay, you know what I mean, for what they had already been collecting. Hmm. So I can't give you an actual number just simply because I don't know how many checks they received on her behalf. Mm. Right. Oh my God. Brett, so uh, you, uh, my question yeah, to you, ahead, Candy, is you know, you've experienced so much success wow. individually, not just as an artist, but also as an entrepreneur. But we do know that it was multiple checks though. We don't know how many, how much. I mean, well, we know how much. She said it was like roughly thirty thousand, but I believe that it's more than that. But I don't think we know like the true number. We don't know if they were getting like five checks to what was going on. Or we've seen Tiny do really great things. You think that like like Latasha feels like this is her time to shine as an individual, like she never got the opportunity that maybe you and Tiny had, or is, is, could well, that be I the mean, behind all of this? Well, I think at the end of the day, we all get the same twenty four hours. So just because somebody else was able to accomplish something more, you know. It is what it is. Everybody, get, you know, what comes to you is because it's what you work for. You know what I mean? Mm. Now, does she probably feel like it's her moment that she needs to do what she needs to do? That is possible. And I don't even think it's anything wrong with her wanting to do a gospel record. It's just for us. It's just every time it's time for her to do a solo project, it's the attitude that comes with it. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like... You know, as far as her doing gospel, like, you know, we all wish her success. We hope that she does, you know, well or whatever. We're in a bad place, obviously. It's playing all out on television. It's playing all out on social media. But we've been having these problems. We just I, that's so what I long. tried to say. I've tried to say that. You're but she right. tried to she You're tried right, to make right. it like Brett, you loved on me. That and that don't mean I never I, I loved all of y'all. That don't never mean that. I'm just saying right. everybody did have like a fear for her. And it, it it is what it is. Like I don't I ain't got to lie, Craig. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like girl and I told her I watched uh, Escape Still Kicking It last night some of the episodes again and when you tried to talk to her and let her know that you've always felt like that you've always felt kind of like you know what I'm saying your feelings got hurt a lot she they always took sides and you know, and, and your how you felt got pushed to the back because Tasha was the leader of the group. And she was like, well, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yes, you did. I just watched it. Y'all talked to each other face to face. Y'all both was crying. It was a great scene. You know what I'm saying? But now she's saying she'll remember that. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I, I'm going to just. Well, just, she can go back and watch the first season. I, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah, it it was the two of y'all. So. I don't know what. And then yeah. Rocky jumped on and said, "I know him. I know, I know of him, and I know him from being with R. Kelly and growing up in Chicago and stuff. But I don't know what he does in his personal life. You know? That's what I'm saying. He tried to make it seem like she really know. Like you see me out here on no rah rah." type energy it sounds like he wanted her to debunk the allegations of what Tamika said as far as him um pulling out items on people and stuff and threatening people okay it seems like he wanted her to speak to that and he knew exactly what he was doing and when she caught him on that and said I don't know nothing about you in your personal life and you know that I don't know that he was like yeah, yeah I, ain't, I ain't saying that I ain't saying that no 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 I'm just saying like you know me you know me and then here goes Tasha like y'all you know him Brad. like y'all have worked together okay well then speak from that aspect speak from the business standpoint if I indeed had any type of connection to you on that level. But don't be trying to bait me into an answer when it comes to your personal life. I don't know shit about that. And I'm glad that the brat was very clear on that. Like, I don't know nothing about no mistress. I don't know nothing about what you do over here when you get over there. I don't know nothing about that. So I can't speak to that. I can't co-sign that, okay? You will not use my statement in quote-unquote court, okay? Saying like, 
So I can't vouch for anything that anybody does or I don't know what goes on. I mean, I hear a lot of stuff. But right now, the show is what's airing and this is what we're going off of, what we see. Yeah. So, right. <laughs> uh, uh, everybody that's tuning in, for everybody that's tuning in, we got Candy Burris on the phone. Uh, and then we, uh, just for the record, we got some uh, clips when we were in the commercial break uh, 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 that we recorded because we continued the conversation during commercial in that part of the interview. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have not aired yet. Uh, we talked about uh, another six minutes. Uh, uh, so, Candy, will the group be doing anything else or is Escape? going to be uh, done. Uh, well, Escape got a lot of shows coming up. We got, I mean, it's just the three of us without Tasha. Mm. So, like, this weekend, we in D.C. Not surprised. We That's how it's been. That's how it's going to continue to be. the next few months. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, right now, we're just not in a place where, you know, Tasha will be performing with us. So, it's just three of us. We gonna still be killing it, still bringing it like we have been. We've been doing shows without without her for a minute. Oh but, yeah, we know we you, you know, gonna do that, Candy, time. for sure. So, so for Candy, sure. can, uh, so Candy, when uh, Lana Richie left the Commodores, they got another dude that looked kind of <laughs> hilarious. Like Morris Day to fill in for Lana Richie. Are y'all gonna be doing any auditions uh, for somebody to you know? Chinese I mean, because the show got to go on. <laughs> Um, to be honest, we don't really feel like we need to do that because realistically, Tamika can sing all her sister's parts. Um, and it's no shade to Tasha, um, but she can't, you know, Tamika is very capable of singing all her sister's parts. So, right. Candy, really I'm not trying to be, be messy or nothing. Uh, would y'all even consider uh, letting Miss Juicy come out there and sing? Good night. Songs? Not Miss Juicy coming out there to sing. Of course. Miss <laughs> Juicy, definitely. We got to get her an outfit made. <laughs> so what would it take for reconciliation, Candy? Because at the end of the day, I mean, it's, you know, people feel like it's entertaining to see the back and forth. But I hear the pain in your voice. I hear the pain in, well, the concern, not the pain, the I concern say, in both no of y'all. Bo- candy, yeah, the boy. concern, the okay, concern, no. because they're sisters. And as black women, yeah. you know, we want to see y'all come together. May, it may need to be a different version of sisterhood than y'all had before. But what would you say it would take for reconciliation for y'all to find just a peaceful resolve? I think it really starts with the sisters. You know what I mean? It starts with them. Mm -hmm. You know, they have to work out. They have a lot to unpack or whatever between them. Right. That's on them. And then conversations after that can be had. As far as Tasha and I, we ain't never really got along since we were kids. And just like Bray already explained to you, it's like, I'm used to this. You know what I mean? And I don't think she ever really cared when things upset me. But, you know, it's different when it's her and her sister. So if I, I just feel like if the two of them figure it out, then later on, you know, we can all have conversations. But honestly, right now, everybody just need to take a break. Yeah. And, yeah. And let some time pass. And space. I yeah. agree. Well, Candy, do you think y'all will ever get together, back together again and maybe just do a gospel album together all for y'all? Now you well, know you just heard what this lady right said. Not giving gospel, friend. <laughs> it's not, giving gospel. <laughs> not, at, not at all. <laughs> no. You just not heard what this lady no. said. Um, but, it's not um, giving gospel. Hey, you never know what could possibly happen. I just eh, right now I don't see it. To be honest, with you. I don't. Uh, I don't. All right, Candy, tell, tell everybody uh, about the show and how can they follow the show uh, and anything that you're doing and how can they follow you on social media? Oh, okay, thank you. Um, well, we're on the show, SWV and Escape, um, the Queens of R&B, and that's uh, every Sunday night on Bravo at 8 p.m. You can watch all the repeats on the Peacock app, uh, streaming app. And then if you want to catch us on tour, Escape, then you can just go to Ticketmaster and pull up Escape. we got all our shows that's coming up on there. I hope we okay. can see you guys soon. And follow me on social media at Candy, K-A-N-D-I. And, um, oh, we're on D.C. on Saturday. I think the show is almost up. Oh, wow. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all give all right, so y'all just heard what Miss Candy Burris had to say and how she had to come to the front and address a few things, okay? Uh, feeling like Miss Tasha is speaking on some baloney, confirming the fact that uh, Mr. Rocky's name is Edward 
Bivens also saying that um what she said something about uh Tasha didn't care about something I can't even remember what Candy said about Tasha not caring about something when it came to her sister so um yeah y'all just pretty much heard everything that Candy had to say also confirming that girl they been moving without Tasha they gonna continue to move without Tasha Tasha's the one that wanted this solo career so they wish her the best of luck and hope that it can thrive but until you know further notice girl it will always be the three and um, when the dust settles, maybe they could come back together. I don't know when Tamika and Tasha going to really have a conversation that they need to have. Um, girl, maybe Christmas time, possibly. We shall see. Um, child, who knows? Ain't no telling. But I'm sure they'll come back together. Get them another five years, child. They might be all back together on one accord. Because y'all know Miss Candy can't girl hold a grudge forever, in the word of Miss uh, Cardi B. Okay? Um so we'll see like you might make up with your sister but it don't mean we're gonna be so easy to let you back in the group because i'm probably not gonna be rocking with you or working with you like that especially after your husband sat up there and put them allegations out there about ty girl and then said some things about girl that's gonna be interesting that's gonna be real interesting to see how the sisters make up especially when your husband sat up there and put some allegations out there talking about how your sister sent him some new pics girl cut it out only to find out the man hacked it to the lady phone girl cut it the f out girl this is gonna be real interesting but um you know how i feel about a girl either way good luck you know um i hate it for you guys I hate you guys are going through this but also let's be very clear don't be blaming the public girl y'all brought this to us we just discussing it but um that's all i got i'm jamie that's me you guys don't forget to like comment subscribe share my videos follow me on instagram and twitter at jamie that's me and i will catch you guys in the next one Bye bye